Good morning. We're here with David Hillbrand. Good morning. Uh, with a job title that I love, Chief Visionary Officer <laughs> of Silverstorm. And we're here to talk a little bit today about um, leveraging technology to successfully implement business strategy. Okay. So my first question for you is, why is technology such an important part of an organization's business strategy? Because IT is part of every organization's value chain. Um, generating um, confidence, knowing what technology are available and how they can help the business, um, providing also focus and visibility, so focus on uh, deciding which solution will help on the transformation of the business and visibility on how to invest. Um, IT should also create that new digital uh, enterprise and also enhance the existing services with new technology. Um, so the important thing of, about IT is um, it must be also an enabler. So all the business units, uh, contractors, outsourcers should all work together um, supporting the business. And sh IT should enable that uh, situation to occur. And then the last point I think that is important is driving the acceleration. Okay, it's not about analysis, it's not about reinventing the wheel, just enabling value. So it's faster time to market for that new technology. Okay, so it's clear that technology is a fundamental part of an organization's value chain. Um, but going forward, what's the role of the IT department? Um, we think that the traditional approaches uh, to managing IT were too slow and uh, the business needs speed. So taking this uh, into account, there is like a growing trend in the market where the line of business executives, they are uh, taking charge of their own destiny. Uh, so recently there was a survey from IDC saying like 43% uh, of the line of business executives were driving their own technological projects because they feel comfortable with technology today. So the result of that survey is not looking very good on an IT perspective because line of business are like managing their own projects. So the thing is, we think that IT should be measured really on service consumption, not on operational activities or project results. But really service consumption is important. Um, I would say that IT is now part of the front office. Okay? So the more the business is taking advantage of the services providing by IT, uh, the higher the value of IT. So to achieve all this, IT needs innovation, we need agility, and we need efficiency. Okay? This is really key. Okay, so efficiency and agility can be achieved with service orientation. But how do organizations achieve service orientation? Service orientation, that's uh, an important thing and that's not an easy one. <laughs> But the first thing is uh, to understand that the technology should drive the business transformation. Okay? So the IT department they should map that business strategy and business model to their service model. Okay? It cannot be totally separated. Business strategy, business model linked to service model. Um, another point that is important for the IT department is providing a holistic optimization. So it's not enough just optimizing a product, a process here and there. We need holistic optimization and simplification. Okay? Um, another key point for IT uh, and being service orientated is um, IT must be um, a broker of services. Okay? So the idea is to have a consolidated and unique catalog where all the in-house internal services are uh, included, but also services from external uh, suppliers and should be transparent from, for the business. Business should go there like an engagement system, go there, find a catalog and request anything you need to, to run your business. Um, and the last point, maybe the, the, the most important one is the people side of it. Okay? The people side, side of it means that we need everyone uh, as, as, that assim uh, everyone assimilates that cultural change. Okay, this is a transformation. So we need to simplify things. We need to optimize things to make that uh, um, assimilation easier. Okay. So, how does Silverstone help with achieving the service orientation? So, Silverstone leverages a technology to implement the business strategy. Okay, so it's like it's around 20 years experience of um, 
of doing this. Um, hundreds of projects, being part of transformation programs in public, private organization, in 25 countries. So it's like huge experience on doing this, making this real, the service orientation. And our philosophy is uh, to bridge the gap between the strategy and implementation. Okay? So how do we bridge the gap? How do we achieve that? We have three main components. One, the first one, we call it bridge. Bridge, it's a tangible and measurable roadmap uh, to creating value through technology. So our philosophy is to first measure where you are, say, this is the current situation, we build a roadmap, then we implement, and after that we measure again, and we want to document and demonstrate the value that has been created. So it's not only about the project result, it's about value created. Okay, and you write, we write this down on a value creation report. The second main component is called service aware. This is like the service orientation deliverables. So all the processes, all the products, everything that you need to make this real. Okay, uh, in the day-by-day -day activities of the business, this, this must be real. They need to, something to work with, tools, processes, and everything should be implemented. Okay, this is service aware, the, the deliverables. And the third one is called Silver Storm Inspiration Program. This is a motivational framework to help or uh, to assimilate that cultural change. There's new concept, new way of working, and we need to make sure that people are aware on, of this on the day-by-day -day activities of the business. So combining those three components, we provide an end-to-end -end solution um, for successful service orientation and digital transformation. Well, thank you very much for your time, thank and you. uh, I hope that you enjoy the conference. Um, thank you. How's thank the you conference going for you? Very good. Very good for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.